Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see subtraction using simple method. We all can subtract the numbers which doesn't involve borrowing. Say for example, 6 minus 3, it is 3. 8 minus 2, it is 6. So we can solve simply since it doesn't involve any borrowing. But if it is 316 minus 248. If you, if you see this last number, we cannot subtract 8 from 6. So we have to go for borrowing technique. We have to borrow 1 here and then it becomes 0. And 16 minus 8, it is 8. We cannot subtract 4 from 0. So again, we have to borrow here and then we have to solve. So Using this borrowing technique, we may take some more time to solve this. So instead of this borrowing technique, we can use another simple method to solve these kind of sums. That is base complement. Base complement method. What is base complement method? Let's see. Since we are subtracting single digits, so even though it is triple digit number, we, we have to subtract 6 minus 8, 1 minus 4 and 3 minus 2. So we are considering only single digits. So the base complement, the base is always 10. So we will get 10 by adding 1 plus 9, it is 10. 2 plus 8. It is 10. 3 plus 7 it is 10. So for all the numbers if you add this combination then we will get the answer as 10. I will show you different examples to solve using this base complement method. First I will take simple double digit now. So, in, in using base complement, we have to subtract from left to right. In normal subtraction, we will go from right to left. But using base complement method, we will go from left to right. So, first 6 minus 4, that is 2. 3 minus 7, we cannot subtract 7 from 3. So, I will see the combination of 7 in this base complement. It is 3. 3 plus 7, it is 10. So I am going to add that 3 with this number. So I will get 6. So this is not my final answer. Since I used base complement for this number, I have to reduce one digit, one number from the previous answer. So my answer will be 16. Next example. 3 have to go from left to right. So 5 minus 2 it's 3. 3 minus 5. We cannot subtract 5 from 3. So I have to see the combination of 5 here. 5 plus 5. So I have to add this 5 with this number. So 5 plus 3 it is 8. So I am adding 8 here. So if we use base complement here, we have to reduce one number from the previous answer. So it will be 2. Again, here 4 minus 6. We cannot subtract 6 from 4. So I have to see the combination for 6. It is 4. So I have to add 1, 4 with this number. So 4 plus 4, it is 8. So again, here I have used base complement. So I have to reduce one number from previous answer. So, my answer is 2, 7, 8. Next example. Seven minus five, it is two. Eight minus eight, it is zero. Two minus four, we cannot subtract four from two. So the combination of four is six. So I have to add 6 with this number. So I will get 8. 
I have used base complement here. So I have to reduce one number from previous answer. Here the number is 0. So we have to consider as 10. So if you reduce one number from 10, you will get 9. So since we consider this as 10, we have to reduce one number from previous answer also. So only if it is 0, we have to we have to mention as 9 here and we have to reduce one more number from previous answer. It applies only if there is 0. My final answer here is 1, 9 and 8. So using this base complement method, we can solve any numbers in less than 5 seconds without borrowing technique. Thank you for watching.